that it's an incredible achievement. Paved the way for much more capable missions in the future, which is very, very complex and very, very difficult. Well, it's a really significant landing because usually when you first go to another planet, you'll put down a static platform and, and just basically look around and take photos. The Chinese Space Agency has, has done the additional really difficult step of actually putting a rover onto the surface of Mars and that, that is an incredible achievement. I think space has always been one of those areas where you've had to have collaborations and we see that with, with all the space agencies collaborating on various missions and I think it's very important to have those collaborations. I think it's a fantastic achievement and landing on Mars is something which is very, very complex and very, very difficult. Um, so I think that we are really, uh, we really would like to congratulate CNSA and China on this, uh, on this great achievement. So I think that we will be able in the coming years to find ways to cooperate uh, in order to explore better and do it together. Uh, between ESA and the Chinese Academy of Sciences, we have already a very, very nice uh, cooperation program. And I think that this is something which could perhaps be elaborated more and, and have further uh, cooperations in order to uh, continue to explore the universe, which is, of course is something we know actually quite little about the universe. This is a extremely exciting achievement from the Chinese Space Agency. And the goals of this mission reflect the goals of the international planetary science community. And in some sense, this mission is a technology demonstration that'll pave the way for much more capable missions in the future, I think. The more science we can get done, the more space agencies involved, the more information we'll have, the more landing sites we'll study, and the clearer picture we'll have about Mars, both past and present. And I really think it's important that we cooperate together internationally